Last time on Relegation Regen Rebuild. Finds Misseroli and he slips it off and Hughes. It's Hughes. Oh, get in, my son. Isaac Hughes, the Kiwi master. And he's just checked in as well. Mancini seen the young lad running with fresh legs. Hello and welcome back to Relegation Regen Rebuild, AC Milan, FIFA 17. We sit in third position after 20 games, only three points behind the leaders. The transfer window is shut. We picked up a couple of regens there in the Petr Cech regen and uh, the Frank Ribery regen. So hopefully they can help us moving forward. Uh, we've settled a lot of the young kids out on loan, shipped a few players off to Tom Toms, and now it's time to get into the second half of the season and push our way here for hopefully qualifying for Europe, which would just be outstanding in our first season back in the no player upgrade today. I just want to get straight into the action. Let's do this. All right, here we go. First game of the episode. It's Empoli hosting Milan. And, uh, well, we're sitting high. We're sitting pretty. We've made some acquisitions through the transfer window. And hopefully that's enough to get us over the line. I wasn't really looking at buying in a lot of players this transfer window, especially after that 6-0 smashing of Napoli. You know that we've got a little bit of squad depth here. But uh, we'll really be tested uh, in the next couple of episodes because there's three games just this week. We've got a Sunday, a Wednesday, and then another Sunday game. So the team is going to be tested here in this one for their stamina and strength. But uh, hopefully we can get the job done and pick up at least one or two wins along the way. Uh, debut here for Daniel Hua Fernandez for Empoli, the goalkeeper. So uh, looks like they're playing a new man between the sticks here, Empoli. But uh, hopefully we can get over the top of them. Come on, boys. Let's get the job done. Piero Cher slips one through. Lazzari burst with pace. Lazzari works the keeper. And it'll be an early corner here for Milan. Here we go. Banksy gets some air on this one. Diaz heads it down. Oh, it's gone in. That's got to be an own goal. Diaz celebrates like he's fucking won the cup. But I'm pretty sure that will go down as an own goal. Diaz did get it on target, but... Well, it looks like it's definitely gone in off that defender. And the goal decision... Here's a goal for Milan. Nice and early, opening up our account. It's 1-0. But uh, it's definitely would have gone down as an own goal. You couldn't see that being going to Diaz. And it doesn't even come up and say if he did score it. Yep, it is. Own goal. Olamuani. Lazzari gets the run here from Banks. Oh, he's worked Fernandez. Uh, he should have finished that one. Olamuani. Moves majestically through the midfield, but it's another poor pass. He's just trying to work his way into this Milan side. But Sari gets the steal, takes the strike, works the keeper. And we are peppering the new man from Empoli. There's Clausen. Can he get this cross in? He can. Oh, Rocher got up. Be a goal kick. Clausen. Banks. Delivers this one out. Pierre Rocher. Slips through, Klausen off to Lazzari. Lazzari, oh, works the keeper. It'll be another corner here for Milan. Well, there is the whistle. It's 1-0 from the own goal after seven minutes. But at halftime, we have failed to get further forward and create more opportunities. Kolomowani, the ball down the line. Here's Miete. Slips this one off, Lazzari. Does well, Lazzari takes the strike, works the keeper, and we'll get the corner. Corner for Milan. We've had five shots through Lazzari. Oh, Colomboani. There he is, his first goal. He was just there. He's just swooped on it. And gets his first goal for the club. Well, fuck me. Pot luck there for Colomboani. And the team gets around him. Here it comes in. Oh, good work there. I think it was Diakabi. And Colomawani just sat there and just knocked it in. Look at this. Lovely little finish. Makes it 2-0 Milan. There's Pierre Rocher. Oh, Lazzari on the break. He's got to finish this one. 
Gets in, son. 3 0. And Letsari gets his seventh of the season. Well, a breakaway there as Empoli tried to push forward. Letsari had enough in the tank to get forward. And just whips that past the keeper. 3 0. That's the kind of finish we want from him. Day in, day out. He puts it in the back of the net. It's 3 0 Milan. There's Christopher Freese. And he streams forward. And he gets this ball off. It's Letsari again. He's in the opening. Letsari to finish. Oh, sidebar from there, you muppet. Corner for Milan. Letsari to deliver. Whips it up. Looks for Diaz. Oh, put over the top. Another corner for Milan. How many have we had? Here's Letsari. Whips it in. That's the sort of corner that frustrates the coaches. Because they obviously have plans. The delivery wasn't good enough. And there's the whistle. So three points, 3-0. Three Great performance from the lads. Well, 15 shots to four. We dominated the possession. No, we didn't. <laughs> we dominated the game, though. A shitload of corners. Letsari gets a 9.3 man of the match. All right, here we go. Game number two. It's Palermo. So we're on the road again being hosted. And uh, some big changes to the side today. Pretty much a fresh team out there. Diaz, pretty much their only starting man out on the pitch today, the captain. Uh, we're going to go Mancini up front. And uh, Giordano on the left wing, Suk on the right, Laganov into the cam roll, Misseroli centre midfield, Frazier in the CDM roll. Zhao's going to play left back today, obviously Sandoval's gone away on a short loan, Cunningham in for Diakabi and Kalkan in at right back, and uh, Clement between the sticks. Let's do this. Giordano to Laganov. It's the run through the middle here from Misseroli. He slips up forward, wants Mancini. Mancini works his way inside. Oh, what a fucking save. Brilliant from the keeper. Diaz gets forward, punches that off, but we get the opportunity for a second shot. Mr. Rolly. Mancini. Oh, Mancini. Brilliant steal. Finish, son. Oh, works the keeper. Oh. Well, there's half time. It's nil all. Palermo yet to... Register a shot. We've had six, but uh, still deadlocked at zero apiece. Laganov does well. Slips this one off. Miss Aroli. Cuts back through the middle. Finds Laganov who strikes. Oh, works the keeper. And it will be a save and a corner. And it will be Sook to deliver. He whips it in. Diaz gets up. And puts it wide. Miss Aroli. Finds Laganov. Opens up the angle. Shoots. Oh, and he's put it wide. Falls off to Cunningham, who has a crack. <laughs> Good luck. Nice Hughes. Oh, that's a great ball from Isaac Hughes. He's got Elvis here. What a save. What a ball from Isaac fucking Hughes. And it's a corner again here. Hughes to deliver. Whips it in. Looks for a Bubakar. It comes out the back. Pushes forward. It's the run. Mancini. Hughes. Flips it off. Oh, Bubakar. Well, there's the whistle. We had our fucking opportunities, but today it's a nil-all draw. Well, 12 shots to one, 17 tackles. We were on point, but we just could not finish today. Mancini missed a couple. Fraser bossed the midfield and gets an 8.0 man of the match. All right, game number three, finally back at the San Siro, and we host Bologna today. The boys are rested up, so Lazzari will start up front. Colin Moani on the left, Banks on the right, Clausen in the middle with the captain's armband. We're giving Diaz a rest. Nicola Giordano comes in to partner up with Diacabi in the centre-back roles. And uh, we just got to keep those rotations going. I want everyone to get some game time and keep everyone fresh as we roll on here in the second half of the season. We're pushing for that European placement. And hopefully we can find some goals today. Let's do this. Mr. Rowley, down the line here for Banks. Reese Banks, the American, works his way down the wing and he's found a little bit of space. And you get a cross in here, back post, who's there? Oh, unlucky. That's the run from Banks. Holds it up, slips it off, here's Clausen. Finds the shot, oh, just wide from the Dane. Off to Clausen, gets the touch. Clausen! Oh, straight at the keeper. Fuck! Ah! Thought he was offside. It didn't matter. Bologna takes the lead. 1 0. 
Oh, shit pass out on the wing. Just opened us up on the counter. And we had no response defensively to protect Conti. And we are 1-0 down to Bologna. They're sitting fourth on the table. I think we're third at the moment. Conti was just like, fuck, boys, come on. So, yeah, Ricard got too far forward. No one could get back to help out. And he wasn't marked closely enough. I'm not sure what Diakabi was doing there. Just trying to put a boot in his face. It's 1-0. Oh, Colin Moani whips inside. Piero Rocher, did he get up? No, cleared away. It's all happening here. Here's Clausen. Crosses it over back post. Piero Rocher. Oh. Well, there's the whistle. Half time. We're one nil down. Come on, boys. Clausen. Banks. But sorry. Comes back. Banks takes the strike. Gets in. There it is. But sorry sets up Reese Banks. And Banksy, what's that? He's fourth for the season. Well, Lazzari got forward, waited for Banks to find the space, fed it back into him. And Banks, with a clinical finish, deposits another check for the season. And we're back in the game at one all. Last finish there from the American. Lombardi. Clausen. There's Lazzari. Tries to wheel around Lazzari. Works his way inside. Oh! Yes, get in! Lazzari trying to chip the keeper. And Miyite comes in to finish it off. His fourth goal of the season. Look at this from Lazzari. Just trying to chip him over the corner. Good save, but Miyite was there. Whips in like a mouse on the cheese. Just whoosh, straight out. Got that bit of crummage. And puts it home. And gets in Milan. Well, a free kick here for Bologna. 82 minutes gone. Abubakar and, oh, good work from Conti. Abubakar, Hughes, and Hendrickson have checked in. And Ricard up the line. Here's young Hendrickson. Slips it off to Miete. Back to Hendrickson. Down the line. Seeing Lazzari. Back to the run of Hendrickson. The Swede. He slipped through here. No, picked off. Oh, they've just given it away. Lazzari. Can he set something up here? Goes looking for Abubakar. It's a boomer car. Oh! Well, it is a corner. It's going to be Hughes to deliver in. He whips this one in. A boomer car. Lazzari cleared off the line. And there's the whistle. A 2 1 victory. We take three points. Good work there, boys. We fought our way back and we take the victory. Well, we went down early, but nine shots, 18 tackles. We're defending well. Lazzari gets an 8.8 .8 man of the match. All right, time for a player upgrade, and it will be Clement, the uh, backup goalkeeper here, the Petacek regen. Um, if you want to make any changes to his kit, let me know. I think we'll hold on to the number one jersey for him. Uh, but, yeah, feel free to change his kit. I'll get it happening in a future episode. Right, so that's where we'll wrap things up today. 23 games played. We sit in third position with 45 points. We've got Udinese in the next game of the season. We just need to find a few extra goals. We're getting the wins. We're getting draws. But uh, I just, I'm just hungry. After that Napoli performance, I was like, fuck me, we're on here. But uh, we're probably exceeding expectations at the moment. Uh, 31 goals. I mean, that's probably more than half the teams here anyway. We've only let in 12 for the season. Playing that defensive game that we like to play. And it looks like at this stage, touch wood, we're going to qualify for European action. But uh, we'll leave that one there today. Thanks very much for tuning in. I'm Spiron DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you, have a good one.